Hey y'all, so I have making a complete mess in my office slash workout room slash recording studio slash everything second bedroom in my little apartment. <laughs> and I'm trying to create some DIY Christmas things to put on like on my wall and stuff like that because it's just so hard to find things here. So I know I'm looking in a bit of a hot mess, but I have been trying to do stuff and like ruining it and then fixing it and then trying to do it again. <laughs> so I have a piece of canvas here and my and the floor is gross, guys. Me, look, I've been going to town with my glue gun and I don't even know what I did. Like, I don't know what's happening, but I'm just going to try to make it work. Like, I don't even know what's happening right now. I'm going to do a DIY project on this and make it Christmassy. And I got this from China Mall for a 10 CD. What he's thinking when he'd rather spend his Christmas all the day with someone else. I guess he stopped thinking about me. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what he's thinking when he says that he's been driving all night, all day to celebrate Christmas with me. But he's not here. In order to start this DIY project, I decided that I was going to go ahead and draw out how I wanted the design to be. And I figured the easiest design to do would be kind of like candy cane striped. So I went ahead and drew out the lines for kind of like the red and white stripes. And then I was thinking of what wording could go on there. So I was trying to look up on the computer different like Christmas sayings. So I came up with... Um, Ho, 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 like Santa Claus, peace, be merry, and joy. And I was able to um, design this before I actually started painting or anything. So just to give myself some idea and to make it easier. And as you can see, it kind of looks like the words are backwards, but that's just how it reflects on the camera. Um, when you're looking at it um, on the video, but uh, it definitely was written the right way and not backwards. <laughs> So for those of you who are new here, I am Lesia75, the Black Unicorn, and I live in Accra, Ghana, which I, I moved to Accra two years ago in 2019. And I can tell you celebrating Christmas in Africa is a totally different experience, and we do not have any of the quality nor availability of Christmas items here in this part of the world. So you have to make do what you can find and then make things work for you. And I absolutely love Christmas. So I was going to make my own decorations. In this particular video, the decorations I'm making, uh, the DIY decorations that I'm making are for the kitchen. This particular set that's going to be uh, candy striped. It sits on the windowsill of my uh, kitchen window with a few other things. And I'll later do a house tour of my Christmas decorations. So you'll see how I, how I have it displayed. The second DIY in this video is also displayed on top of the kitchen cabinets. 
And so uh, stick around for that because I have two DIYs in this one video and they're easy, they're quick, they're simple, and they're family friendly. So you can do this with your kids totally and just make a whole fun day out of it as you plan for Christmas. Chop the rain, these are falling down We stay up waiting for Santa tonight He climbs down the chimney at the speed of light While we're dancing around the Christmas tree Hugging and kissing just you and me In case you're curious, this particular utensil set was pure wood. It had no kind of paint or anything on it, which, which made it very easy for me to paint. I just used the acrylic paint that I use on my canvas to paint these. Now, this may not be the best paint to use on this, but we'll find out in years to come because uh, it turned out really nice. I used about three coats on each particular utensil and the holder um, you know I lightly painted let it dry it took me a few days to do this project so because I wanted to let things dry all the way and then you'll see later on where I took my glue gun because I had um, glitter glue sticks <laughs> and I really like these glitter glue sticks and I always wanted to use them I had them for at least I don't know three years now and never had a chance to use it and so now it was my chance and I went glue gun crazy I used green red gold I was just all over the place because I didn't know what I was doing but I do like the end result um, and I was just playing around just trying to figure out what could work I had no kind of like guide I was looking at pictures on Pinterest but I still didn't see anything exactly what I wanted but I knew I wanted that little candy cane look because it's Christmassy and I love traditional Christmas colors of red and green and golds I just like those colors so I hope you enjoy it too please remember to like share and subscribe if you like the video Thank you.
你。Now, if you're curious, know what I'm doing. No, I'm not cleaning it. This particular ribbon that I got here in Ghana is actually a piece of fabric that was super glittery, and the glitter falls off of it. It's like you don't even need to buy extra glitter. All you have to do is just start to shake it, and the glitter falls right off and sticks to it, <laughs> strangely enough. So I would shake it, and then I would spread it across. I wasn't reusing that piece of, of ribbon for anything, but to make the utensils have a bit of a shine uh kind of like a glittery shimmer and that's exactly what I was able to do you can't really see it that well um, with the camera that I'm using but in person it has just the amount of glitter effect that I want because I am a girly girl I like things that are glitter and shimmery and cute and gold <laughs> so I achieved the gold doing that so you're going to see that a lot through the rest of the video
was having a serious struggle with trying to do a bow. I finally figured out how to do it, and there it is. So I like the way it looks, and it took me forever to figure out how to tie the bow, but <laughs> I finally figured it out and made it work. So that gave me my little pop of gold beyond the little gold shimmer that's already on the utensils. Now on to the second DIY. The second DIY are letters. They're like cardboard letters. They're sturdy, but they're paper based. So in the type of paper that they're on allows you to paint it with acrylic paint. So they're kind of like a canvas, but letters. So they're the initials of my guy and myself. And so I decided to change the color to Christmas colors and make this go along with the utensil set and have that same candy cane stripe type of vibe to it. So as you can see, I'm using white and red, and then you will also see me use some gold to outline it. And of course I shook the glitter gold ribbon on it so that the glitter would get all over it. <laughs> so that has the shimmery gold um, effect as well. And this is the second DIY and it did not take long. For this one, I used about two coats of paint and it took me about two and a half days to do it because I needed to let the white dry all the way and I had to do two coats of that before I could go over it with the red stripes. Well, I hope you enjoyed this Vlogmas 3 day. <laughs> Can I get this out? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed Vlogmas day 3 and the final results of the two DIY projects I did. It only took me like four times to try to say this, so I'm not sure I'm going to edit it anymore. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and I hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Mm -hmm.